Hi friends! It is time for my January TBR and reading plans for January. <laughs> I don't typically do TBRs but lately I've got a lot of different book clubs and things going on so this is just kind of a this is what I'm reading this month and hopefully I can actually accomplish it because there's like 13 books on here I need to read it's a lot first things first I now have a patreon account it's linked down below if you missed that video so I have a couple of different tiers on my patreon um, different things that you can get for different tiers. The $4 tier includes you being put into um, a selection for me to pick someone, for you to pick a book from my physical TBR, for me to read and review. In January, by default, because she is the only person in the $4 tier, Kate Cavanaugh gets to pick the book for me and she chose for me to read Felix Ever After by Case and Calendar. This book follows Felix, who is a transgender male, who is trying to better himself so that he can get into the college of his dreams. And this book follows him um, as he is kind of being dead named and being having pictures of him and his old life being posted and trying to deal with all that fallout and trying to um, go after the person that he believes is the person that is responsible but also learning that there's more to that person than may seem. There's some kind of like a pseudo love triangle. Um, the book deals with a lot of different topics and um, the thing that sold this book to me is that the final part of the synopsis is Felix Ever After is an honest and layered story about identity, falling in love, and recognizing the love you deserve. And that just sounds so amazing. Spoiler alert, I've already started reading this. I'm on like page 50, I think. I'm on page 102. I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, I am have been like viscerally angry already. So um, yeah, there's that. Next on my list is the Avengers Initiative reading challenge. This is a year-long reading challenge. There are five hosts. I will link them in the description box below um, their announcement videos because there is so much to go over that that's just not I'm not here for that because I'm gonna like get it wrong. So just know that there is a year-long reading challenge basically where there's a group book every month. We're doing a rewatch of all of the movies in chronological order so it's two movies a month. There are bingo boards for each character and they're like you're reading to get the challenges. There's a group book every month and for January the group book is Legendborn by Tracy Dion. I know I said when I hauled this book that I was going to wait a little bit to read it but but it's a group book for a challenge that I think I'm really going to enjoy so I'm going to go ahead and read this in January. I don't know a lot about this book. Um, I know that it's like an Arthurian legend retelling. I don't know if it's a retelling so much as like um, the main character is actually a descendant of someone from the round table. I know that it does deal with grief that her mom dies towards the beginning of the book or is dead at the beginning of the book and so it follows her like trying to get revenge on what happened to her mom and so she has to infiltrate the school and I know there's a lot of that kind of stuff going on but I don't really know much more about the plot besides that. Then for Beautifully Bookish Bethany's Patreon Book Club which I usually participate in as long as it's a book that I'm interested in. And this month it's a graphic novel and a book that I'm both interested in. So if you don't know Bethany, I will link her down below as well. And her Patreon, we do a book club in her Patreon where we read a book together every month and like have a book discussion theme of the month. This month the graphic novel is Moonstruck by Grace Ellis and the book is A Winter's Promise by Christelle Davos. It is a translated work of fiction. I have no idea what it's about but uh, I'm gonna read it so yeah. In the world of continuing on to YouTubers book clubs, Cassie at Sassy Cassie is also doing a book club this year where we are going to be reading through the Goodreads Choice Award winners and so for January the book is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue which I wanted to read anyway so going to go ahead and join that and read The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. If you don't know what that book's about, which I don't know how you could be on booktube and not know, the book follows Addie LaRue who makes a deal with a demon type character for her to be able to live forever but the payoff is that she, people will not remember her until like one day later on in her life there's a guy who does remember her and I don't know what happens after that so there's that. Flying away like a chicken. Anyway, the next book that's on the TBR is going to cover two of my reading things and that was done on purpose. It is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I don't know a lot about this book either other than it follows. It follows Laszlo Strange who is has always been 
obsessed with this civilization called Weep who I think some people I think it's like our Atlantis like some people say it exists some people say it doesn't and he's like a specialist on Weep even though it doesn't necessarily technically exist and uh, it's a whole spiel about that and I think someone comes and asks him to go to there. I know there's a second point of view that happens at some point in this book and it's like a huge spoiler if you know the second point of view so please don't tell me. I know that. So what I'm reading this for is Kayla at Books and Lala will be linked down below which if you're here you already know who she is so that doesn't really matter but she will be linked down below. She is doing the buzzword reading challenge where instead of having the buzzword a thon where you read as many books as you can in a week with a specific buzzword Instead this year she's doing like a reading challenge where there's a challenge for every month and you can either read one book that fits the challenge or as many books as you can to fit the challenge. So for January the word is dream. You can do dream, dreamer, dreaming, dreams, any variation of that. So we're doing strange the dreamer and so that's going to be for that. And also this is going to be mine and Kate Cavanaugh's pick for the January February book for the <laughs> author tube chat book club. Whew, guys why? Why do I do these kinds of things to myself? We're going to be reading Strange the Dreamer for the book club chat and so you have all of January and February to read it and then towards the end of February we will be going over the book discussing it along with whatever other topic we're talking about that month. So you have a couple months to read it. It's a chunky baby. If you've already read it and you want to come and hang out that's cool too. Chunky books. I'm screwed. Next is my local bookstores book club which my local bookstore is Wheatberry. I'll have their website linked down below. If you do not have a local bookstore to order from and you don't want to support Amazon, you can go to Wheatberry and she ships for free to the continental United States. So if you need a local bookstore, you can support mine if you, you know, don't have one to support. They do both a nonfiction and a fiction book club every month. Fiction book club is um, their Eyes Were Watching God by Zara Neale Hurston and then the nonfiction is Devil in the White City by Eric Larson. So I'm going to try to read both of those this month see what happens. Don't know what either of them are about other than the devil in the white city is about the devil in the white city which is like a killer from all okay all I know about it is that it was the character from the fourth <laughs> stalking Jack the Ripper series. Other than that I don't know much so okay. I have two arcs that come out this month I believe on the 14th or 15th. They are You Have a Match by Emma Lord and The Ruthless Lady's Guide to Wizardry by C.M. Wagner. Don't really know what one of those is about either but uh, it's it's fine. I'm gonna read both of those. Uh, next are new releases for the month. One of them is Lore by Alexandra Bracken which comes out on the 5th. I believe that's gonna be the box in the Owlcrate this month so I probably won't. I may not read it this month because I may not get it until way late in the month because my Owlcrate is typically super late. And then uh, Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas comes out on the 12th which means those other two books come out on the 12th, not the 15th or 16th. They come out on the 12th. I have even less time to read those than I thought I did. Cool. Concrete Rose is a prequel to The Hate You Give and it follows Star's father when he was a teenager and uh, him kind of deciding to leave the gang life because he's going to be a father and follows that. Uh, Lore is a book about Medusa in some way or another. That's all I know. And you would think that's it, but it's not. We also have Lord of the Rings. Don't panic. I'm not reading the whole thing. Don't, don't panic. I'm just gonna explain a thing. Okay. So if you watch the YouTuber Rach Loves or Rach Loves Life, so Rach Loves is her beauty tube channel and Rach Loves Life is typically baking and like TikTok hacks and things of that nature. Um, her husband Chris is a huge Lord of the Rings fan and so he decided that for this year he wanted to do a Discord read-along of the Lord of the Rings trilogy which I love the movies. I know the books and the movies are different. I love the movies. I haven't dove into the books yet because I feel like they're very daunting. And the decision was to, we're going to, as a group on Discord, read one chapter a week going through the year. So I'm like, I can do one chapter a week. It's like most of them are 20 to 40 pages. I don't feel like that's like the most daunting task ever. So I'm going to be reading this along with Chris from Rachel's Life, who I will link down below as well. But I'll be reading that with a group of other people. There's a lot of people in the Discord. Um, I will, if I can link the Discord invite link down below, I will. Um, if you're interested in joining us, because we're only on chapter one right now. So you can catch up and join in. Or if you've read it before and a lot of people are rereading it, um, there's, I would say it's probably from what I've seen about 50-50 people who have read it and people who are reading it for the first time. So there's a lot of like introspective on people having 
you know, knowledge of what's going to happen in the future. And people are kind of telling you like things that are going to play a part later on and things that are, you can kind of look over. So it's, a, it's definitely been an interesting journey and I'm enjoying the chat. So Lord of the Rings too. Why not? It looks like a very tiny TBR, but it's really not. All right, y'all. So this is not even a fraction of my TBR for the month of January. If you've read any of these books, let me know in the comments below um, which ones you think I should prioritize, um, things I should look out for. Is there anything I should know walking into any of these books? Let me know in the comments below. That is going to be it for me today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. So if you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye! Ooh, 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 ooh.